Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Intanger here. I'm doing some more arc building. I'll show you some of my cool building tricks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to build a floating platform out here off the edge of this um, island. So this is one of the islands on Genesis 1 in the ocean biome where if you go to your HLNA and you go to biome teleportation, this one's south. Um, so I already teleported over here. I'm not doing it again. But uh, it pops you out right here, and normally you're not allowed to build in this area. I'm on single player right now, so it would technically let me, but um, what I'm going to show you, it will actually work on the officials. I'll show it at the end, what I've built on, on the officials. So normally you can't build in there, and you got to build outside this zone here. So uh, here's what we'll do. I'm going to drop down to the ocean. I'm not going to explain everything in super detail. I'm just going to do it, and you'll kind of see what I'm doing because otherwise it'll get too wordy. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here and I'm going to place a pillar. And then I'm just going to pillar all the way up. And so yeah, we're making a floating teleporting platform here. And uh, it will be pretty cool. And the, the use of this is, um, is you'll be able to just warp straight to ocean south. And then you got a nice safe spot to just run out and jump on a, uh, a teleporter and go wherever you want go home that's what i've used it for on the official i saw another guy who built a similar build uh but his wasn't floating so i'll show you how to float it uh, but it was a great idea what he what he'd done and uh, i'm going to use one of the tricks i learned from him which is uh, bridging a tech bridge into that zone normally you can't build in there but you can bridge a tech zone into it from outside so i'm going to get pretty high up here I want to come alongside this island. Probably should have lined this up a little better, but I think that'll be fine. Actually, let's try and line it up with that one right there. So I'm going to have to go back down to the ocean, and I'm going to come over a little bit. I'm going to go deeper here. Oh, that was it. Is that it? No, that's not it. Alright, well, it's not giving me the snap that I want, so I'm just going to do this. Okay, that should hopefully be enough over. Now we're going to go back up. Now, is that lining up? Yeah, that looks about lined up. Okay, so uh, here's the thing about um, tech bridges. They're a little finicky to build. They don't, they don't let you build very uh, reasonably. And so I'm going to tell you how to use them anyway. And uh, so if I wanted to build this over there, see, there's no snap, so it won't give me the snap point. Uh, but there are some ways. Um, they'll snap around pillars, but see, there's nothing underneath, so it still isn't letting me do it. Let's get a wall and uh, pull this over here. So I'm going to go down a couple ceilings, put a ceiling down there. And it still won't let me do it. Uh, I'm just kind of fishing around. There, there was a... Okay, so there's my pillar. Okay, that will let me do it. Uh, it seems like sometimes you have to have a pillar next to it also at a higher height. Uh, but right now it's not making me do that. If you're fishing around and trying to get the snap points you want, and it's not letting you do it with just a pillar underneath like that, um, use a... Uh, use a pillar to the side but it is letting me do it with just this right now so i'm gonna there's actually multiple snap points usually uh one of them will be further ahead and one of them will be further back it looks like it's just giving me the one so good and now i've got a tech bridge and this will actually work on official i can um i can show you what i've built afterward to show you how i've done it and you can try to get the height of your platform a little more level if you want so it's you know more level but you know it doesn't really matter there's a large degree of up and down that the bridges can go and connect to so anyway now I've got a tech bridge and the cool thing about these tech bridges which I which I showed in the last video also is these count as support this this counts as like a foundation that's supported by the ground even though it's not supported by the ground is way up in the air it's supported by these pillars which are supported all the way down there by some ground supports. So, so yeah, the rules about building is you got to have foundations, and foundations generally have to be into the ground, um, and only pillars and 
the, the uh, foundations normally work, like these kind of foundations. These are the only things that normally count as, you know, grounding you to the ground as a foundational support. But uh, apparently, tech bridges also count, even though they're not on the ground. <laughs> and uh, it lets you do some really cool things with it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this up quick. I'm just going to do a really sloppy build. You can do a prettier one if you want to get more creative about it. But I'm just going to do a, a quick and dirty crappy build and show you that it works and actually you can uh, I think you can place these into the no build zone as well uh, as long as the the front part you know where the where the little pedestal is there as long as the front part is um, placed inside I mean outside of the build no build zone the rest of it can actually reach in see like that uh, but um, that looks awkward as hell, so I'm not going to actually put it right there. Let's put it, uh, you know, some somewhat less ugly. So yeah, I'm going to hang it off over this way, and I'll get a generator. Why not? And put it down over here too. Uh, the generator can be on the minimum range. Um, most people probably already know this sort of thing. And, And uh, it, it, it just has to be close to uh, this little button here. So anyway, now I've got a working teleporter. Nowhere else to go. Um, and uh, that's all that I really need for the build. And now, so as I've said, this should count as supporting. And it does count as being snapped to ceilings if it's placed next to a ceiling. Even though you can't place it on a snap point next to a ceiling, once it is placed, it will it will still count as being connected so I should be able to remove all these other things which I'm going to do now and it should stay according to what I've told you right so let me go ahead and take these other pieces apart and so far it's disconnected and it's still floating just to uh, hammer the point home I'm gonna get rid of all of this stuff and now we have no supports on the ground at all and yet, here's our teleporter, still floating up in the sky, connected with the tech bridge. Um, you can actually turn this off and your structure won't collapse or anything. It still counts as being supportive, even if it's not um, uh, turned on at the, at the moment. I don't know why it's now telling me it's blocked, though. That's unusual. Uh, why is it telling me that? That... Maybe it's it thinks the terrain is blocking it at, at this point. I, I don't know why it let me place it there if it thinks it's blocked now. There's nothing in between them, so it shouldn't be blocked. Uh, the one I built on official is not blocked, so I think it's just a, a fluke of it let me place it around this terrain here, but now it just added the terrains in the way, so it's not letting me not letting me turn it back on. Maybe it's one of these trees. Let's knock some of these down. I don't have any good tools on me. Hold on. into the weeds here. Anyway, it's still not letting me turn it back on, which is odd, but I I don't think that's related to the the, the, uh, the trick here. I think it's just a fluke of the terrain there. But anyway, yeah, that is how you do it. So now, and the other cool thing about this is it's not like glitched floating. It's, it's you know, it, it's still actively supporting this area, so I can still add on more structures to it. Like, there's other glitches that you can use to float structures. But once you've done the glitch, you can't touch the structure with any new... You can't build on it ever again. You can't take anything off of it ever again, or the whole thing will collapse because it's in, like, a glitch state. This is not actually in a, a glitch state as far as support goes. It still counts as active support, so I can, I can still build on to it and, uh, you know, do all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, you can use this for uh, many useful tricks. Like, uh, you can use it for this floating... Uh, platform off the edge of one of the starting zones. Uh, <laughs> if, the, if the bridge element itself hadn't messed up on us, we'd be able to warp here any time and walk across the bridge, get out on here. But yeah, you can also use this to float things off the ground. Like I could have done this to place a teleporter over one of the mission terminals on Gen 2, which uh, which I've done before. I floated uh, teleporters right over the mission terminal. 
and you, you can do the same thing with the tech bridge as long as you're allowed to like um, like so you can bridge these bridges into no build zones like this and also on other maps like when you're not allowed to build near the ops you can bridge these into those zones and build the other side of your bridge in a no build zone but uh, you can't bridge it into some other guy's base so like if there's some other guy's pillars are around you can't bridge it into there it'll say it's obstructed so I don't think it's a glitch at all I think it's uh, you know, a convenient bonus feature that uh, is not really well known about so now you know about that I'll go ahead and switch over to um, my online um, map real quick and show you this in, in All right, here we are on uh, official. This is an actual official, you know, PVE server. And I've got a teleporter built just like I was showing you, uh, or very similarly to how I was showing you, where it's hanging out off the edge of this starter, I mean, uh, out of, off the edge of this uh, warp point zone, just floating out here off the edge. And... Uh, yeah, it's really convenient for getting home because I, I live in the ocean biome, but my base is um, it's way over there. Oops. It's way over there on top of that pillar. And there's a... I can't, you know, I can't easily get all the way home from the HLNA. I mean, I could fly there, but it's slow. And I don't want to do it. So, uh, I can... I built this little platform out here. I can walk right across. Let me also show you that normally... Oh, is it in the save now? I think it's in the save. Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, let me show you that normally it doesn't consider these bridges blocked by, you know, anything. I don't know why. It's just bad luck that I guess the place that it placed it was blocked by terrain. I think that's what it was. Because, yeah, the, these can be disconnected and reconnected, no problem. It doesn't say blocked. And uh, this one is actually slightly different. I used multiple glitches to get this one up. Well, again, I don't think the tech bridge thing is technically a glitch. I think it's more of a bonus feature. But, yeah, I've done mine a little differently where I did use a glitch to... Uh, shoot, to, to um, oh, crud, don't fall away. I don't want to fall in the ocean. Uh, I got some ceilings underneath there, see? Because the, the thing about trying to park a skiff on here is uh, if there's not a ceiling underneath your teleporter, the skiff won't land correctly. So since I put extra ceilings up underneath, I can land on here and teleport at home. Anywho, that is the whole video today. I just wanted to show off um, this cool trick with the tech bridges. There's a lot of potential here. I don't think it's technically a glitch, so um, I don't think they'd fix it. I don't think they'd patch it. But so yeah, uh, ha have fun with that. Enjoy that. You could do a you can actually do quite a bit with this. You could build a whole base supported by these. And uh, if you're clever, you know, you're creative with it. And I'm actually working on a build now that might uh, illustrate that. I'm still designing it out. But yeah, I'm still playing Ark, still building stuff. Uh, it, it feels like I'm finally getting like really good at some of the cool building techniques and really good at the mobility techniques of just, you know, it, it, it feels mo like I feel like I'm in a more liberated state as far as gameplay goes with just the ability to go anywhere I want, build anywhere I want, build whatever I want. And, uh, and it's a bummer that the game is pretty much coming to an end now while I'm kind of like reaching heights in the game that I didn't know I would ever be able to, you know, I'm reaching a level of gameplay freedom that I didn't think I would ever have. And, and we've only got, like, I don't know, a few months left, supposedly. I think they're going to delay it, though, so I think it's going to end up being many more months because I, I really don't think Wildcard's going to be close to being able to, um, you know, put out the new version by the by August because they, they never are. They're always slow. Uh, anyway... That's just my thoughts on it. Hope y'all had a uh, learned something useful, and uh, I'll see you next time. I got another video with some more building tricks coming up actually soon, um, and I'm gonna show at some point after after uh, after all the videos with, with all the different building tricks, I'll show you something cool I'm working on where it basically combines different 
tricks and glitches and techniques to build something pretty damn unique in a pretty impossible spot that is going to be pretty neat. I think it'll be really cool. I'm going to try and actually build it unofficial too uh, if, if I don't lose interest before I finish. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a go and see you next time. Bye.